Smile and learn. So cool, isn't it? It's my new drone. We're going to fly over the city to get to know it. Want to join us? There are so many places in a city. I'll show them to you in four different videos. This is the first one. Library. The library is a place where there are many books. If you become a member, you can borrow any books you want. Library. School. Teachers work in the school. They teach lots of things to young children. School. Store. Stores sell many things. There are different types of stores like the grocery store where we buy fruit or the shoe store where we buy shoes. Store. Museum. The museum is a place where you can see artwork like paintings and old objects like sculptures. Museum. Hotel. The hotel is where people stay for a short while. Normally, hotels provide lodging for people who don't live in the city or are on vacation. Hotel. Cafe. At the cafe, you can have coffee and other drinks. The waiter will serve them to you. Cafe. Square. A town square is an open space where many streets meet. Sometimes there are monuments, trees, and gardens in the square. Square. Hospital. The hospital is where we go when we are ill. Doctors and nurses work at the hospital. They look after our health. Hospital. Bank. We keep our savings in the bank. Banks also loan money to people who need it to buy a house or a car, for example. Bank. Park. The park is an open air space where kids have fun. There are usually swings and slides. Park. Station. The station is where trains and buses stop so that passengers who travel from one place to another can get on and get off. Station. Zoo. All kinds of animals live at the zoo. If you visit the zoo, you'll learn lots of things about animal species around the world. Zoo. So many places. Do you remember all of them? Let's test your memory. Where can you borrow books from? The library. Where do children go to learn new things? To school. Where can you buy things? At the store. Where do you go to see artwork? To the museum. Where do people stay while on holiday? At the hotel. Where can you have coffee? At the cafe. How do we call an open space with many trees and gardens? The square. Where do we need to go so that doctors can cure us? To the hospital. Where do we keep our savings? In the bank. How do we call the open air space with swings and slides? The park. Where do passengers catch trains and buses? At the station. Where can we find animals in the city? At the zoo. Way to go! Stay tuned for our second Parts of the City video. Hey there again. This is the second video about Parts of the City. Ready to learn some more with the help of my drone? Let's go for it!
pharmacy. The pharmacy is where we buy medicines prescribed by the doctor. Pharmacy. Supermarket. The supermarket is a big store where you can buy all kinds of things from food to cleaning supplies. Supermarket. Sports stadium. Sports stadiums are huge venues where we go to see sports competition like football or basketball games. Sports stadium. Restaurant. The restaurant is where we go to have lunch or dinner with friends and family. The waiter serves us drinks and food. Yum! Restaurant. Theater. At the theater, we can see theater plays and other entertainment events. Theater. Gas station. At the gas station, we refuel vehicles like cars or motorbikes. Gas station. Mall. Malls are huge places with many stores and restaurants. Mall. Parking lot. The parking lot is an area where vehicles like cars and motorbikes can park. Parking lot. Bookstore. At the bookstore, you can buy all sorts of books like novels or comics. Bookstore. Police station. The police station is where police officers work when they're not patrolling the city. Police station. Hair salon. We go to the hair salon to get our hair done or cut. Hair salon. Airport. The airport is the place where airplanes from all over the world land and take off. Airport. So many places. Can you remember all of them? Let's find out. Where do we buy medicines? At the pharmacy. Where can we buy food and also cleaning supplies? At the supermarket. Where can we see a basketball game? At the sports stadium. Where would we go to have dinner with friends? To the restaurant. I want to see a theater play. Where do I go? To the theater. Where can you fill up the car? At the gas station. How do we call the place where we can find many stores and restaurants together? The mall. And where do we park the car? At the parking lot. Where can you buy the latest book by your favorite writer? At the bookstore. Where do police officers work when they're not patrolling? At the police station. I need a haircut. Where do I go? To the hair salon. And where do airplanes land and take off? At the airport. Great job! Stay tuned for our third Parts of the City video! Hello friends! This is the third video about the Parts of the City. Let's keep learning more with the help of my drone. Here we go! Fire Station The fire station is the place where firefighters work waiting to be called out to respond to emergencies like fires. Firefighters keep their equipment like the fire engine at the fire station. Fire station. City hall. The mayor and council members work at the city hall and organize the city. City hall. Gym. The gym is where we go to do sports. Gym. 
post office. The post office is where parcels and letters are taken to be mailed. Mail carriers deliver them all over the world. Post office. Movie theater. At the movies, you can see the best films on the big screen. Movie theater. Bus stop. The bus stop is where people wait for the bus to come and take them around the city. Bus stop. Laundromat. At the laundromat, we wash our clothes and all sorts of textiles. Laundromat. Travel agency. At the travel agency, they help us plan our trips. Travel agency. Real estate agency. At the real estate agency, people buy, sell, or rent a house. Real estate agency. Building. A building is a large structure that we use as a place to live or work. Building. Skyscraper. Skyscrapers are ginormous buildings with many floors. You can find them in big cities. Skyscraper. Can you remember all of them? Let's recap. Where do firefighters wait to be called out? At the fire station. Where does the mayor work? At the city hall. Where do we go to do sports? At the gym. Where do mail carriers pick up letters? At the post office. If I want to see a movie on the big screen, where do I go? To the movie theater. We wait for the bus. At the bus stop. Where do we wash clothes and textiles? At the laundromat. If I want to travel, where do I go? To the travel agency. If someone wants to buy or rent a house, they will go to the real estate agency. How do we call those large structures that can be houses or offices? Buildings! And how do we call those buildings that are ginormous? Skyscrapers! Amazing! Stay tuned for the last Parts of the City video! Hello, little buddies! Let's look at the last video about the Parts of the City! Neighborhood. Cities are divided in neighborhoods, like this one for example. Neighborhood. Street. The street is a way in the city for people and vehicles. Streets take us to houses, buildings, stores, or parks. Street. Avenue. Avenues are like streets, but they are much wider and longer. Avenue. Sidewalk. The sidewalk is the part of the city where pedestrians walk. Sidewalk. Road. The road is an open way for vehicles like cars and bicycles. Road. Crosswalk. Crosswalks are white stripes painted on the ground that help pedestrians cross the street safely. Crosswalk. Traffic signs. Traffic signs control the traffic in the city. Traffic signs. Traffic lights. Traffic lights are colored lights that control how people and vehicles cross streets and roads. Traffic lights. Street lights. Street lights are lights on a post that illuminate streets and roads. Street lights. 
bench. Benches are seats we can see in streets and squares. Bench. Fountain. Fountains are decorative elements that spring water. We see them in squares and parks. Fountain. Monument. Monuments are buildings of cultural, artistic, or historic value. Look, this monument was built by a very famous architect. Monument. Time to recap. Cities are divided into neighborhoods. Where do people drive and walk? In the street. They're larger than streets. The avenues. Pedestrians walk on the sidewalk. Cars circulate in the road. Where do pedestrians cross the street? At the crosswalk. What controls the traffic? Traffic signs. The colored lights for pedestrians and vehicles are called traffic lights. What illuminates the streets? Street lights. At the square, we sit on benches. Where does water spring from? The fountain. And how do we call the objects that decorate the city? Monuments. That has been all about the city, friends. I hope you liked it. Did you like the video? We have so many more. Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.